again so guys in this video we will see how to fix the persona 3 loaded shuttering issue guys if you are facing this issue that the sh game is shuttering issue and it will not reload so you are not alone many have played having this issue and in this video we will see how to fix this problem so guys first step is you can update your graphic drivers okay so actually the thing is that i am using the macbook so you can if you are having the windows so you can follow these steps first of all you can right click on your computer then uh, after that you go into the manage like device manager and the device manager you see your graphic card what you have if you are using amd and uh, any other intel integrated driver so you can right click on that and you see the option is update the driver so these are the simple step for updating the driver okay so you can update your driver for and after updating your driver you can see the problem is be resolved or not then we have the another step for adjust in the game setting so adjust the graphic in the game setting so high graphical setting can put the strain on your system so can leading to the stuttering okay so you can lowering these second uh, settings and can reduce your load of your hardware for reducing the setting you can follow these steps first of all you can launch your persona 3 and go to the settings menu and lower the resolution and the graphical features such as shadows texture and anti-slagging and disable any unnecessary visual effects then apply the changes and check and test for the improvements okay if it is work then good otherwise you can follow the another thing so another thing we is set the person at three as the highest priority okay so highest priority means the task will uh, the system will give the priority game rather than the other tasks okay so you can set it by going to the uh, task manager by you can go direct press the window shift escape and it is look like that uh, so this is your task manager in the windows and you can right click on it and set it to the priority basis then go to the detail and person and process and hover it and set it to priority and choose high and confirm and mode they appear then you can close your taskbar and you can run your game again then we have the another option so guys another solution is disable the full screen optimizations okay so you need to disabling the full optimization because can sometimes interface with your game performance okay so you can right click on your game and go to the select properties where you see the option compatibilities tab in the compatibilities tab you can disable the function optimization then apply the click okay and launch your game to reload okay so these are step for disable your full time optimization then we have the another step is verify your game so guys verifying games helps to refresh our files and uh, all uh, which files are automatically corrupted and it will repair and replace all the damaged file automatically okay so if you are the steam user means if you are using the pc and you are using that steam so you can go to the steam sections you can see uh, first of all you can find the game in your library after finding your game you can right click on the game and you can see the installed games then you can see the one option is verify integrity of the game files so you can click on it and wait for the process it will be complete okay and you also see the one warning do not run the verification process while performing the other incentive process such as defragmentation and your hard drive or scanning for the virus okay so do not run the process for the multi games okay so you can keep these things remember okay another thing we do, uh, do is uh, so another thing is disable the background app so so for disabling the background app you can again go to in your task manager okay so this is your task manager how it's look so in the task manager you see there is lots of the app is working on so if you do not need the app means some unnecessary app like any desk anti malware so you can right click on like right click on that and uninstall it okay sorry not uninstall mean go to its un task means end the task of the uh, software then after uh, uh, after turn off the uh, background app you can uh, see and again launch your game and check the problem is resolved or not then we have the power cycle of your console sometimes these also uh, helps too much times 
okay so you can turn off the xbox by holding the power button on your front of the console and wait for the 10 second until it shut down then you can unplug the power cable from wait for the few full minutes okay then reconnect it and turn off the console okay so these are the steps for power cycle for the xbox for playstation user you can place the, hold the power button until you hear the two beep sound okay and it's indicate completely turn off then you can disconnect from the power cable and wait for the couple of minutes and reconnect to the power cables and power and the playstation by pressing the button again then we have the software updates so if you are you uh, if you are using the xbox so you can see this is the process of the xbox for updating the process and you can follow the steps like go to the uh, profile and the systems and uh, then you see the any, any update is available so you can if uh, any update is available so you can download it in your system for playstation user it is very simple go to the home screen then setting and see the system updates if it's any update is available so you can install and follow the on screen instruction another thing we do is check out the system requirements okay so you need to check the system requirements of the game for checking the system is requirement you also use the google as well we we have the option on the steam app directly for example this is our game okay so person so here is the pricing of the game then you go to the downwards here it will showing all the system requirement of the games for example we need the windows 10 a minimum 8 gb ram graphic card and uh, storage available is 30 gb and this is the minimum requirement and recommended it means recommended means the game will give their full of output and 60 fps frame for seconds okay so you have the 64 bit processor operating system with windows 10 and memory around 8 gb then version direct of x12 and nvidia gtrx4 40 and processor i7 so these are the minimum requirement for run your game okay another thing is you can run administration so run as administration is very simple process and in the in this process is we it will give the some necessary uh, permissions of the game which the system is not give uh, by their own choice so you can locate the prison on the game and where you can go to the executable file then you can navigate the properties and uh, then after that you can compatibilities tab then run the game as administrative make the uh, box checked and click apply and then ok to save the changes after that you can start your persons and reload and monitor for any important in the performance okay then we have the 12th option is contact with the support team so if you are performing all the tasks and you do not find any solution so you need to connect with the support team they will be provide a better solution troubleshooting step of your problem for checking it you can directly go to the support team by clicking here and on this uh, and here you can create your tickets and create your problem and you can describe your problem as uh, in in proper way so they will be give you the reason so this is the uh, support team link sorry email id and you also submit the request by here okay so enter your uh, whatever this is i don't know an email nickname game subject descriptions attachment attachment here means any uh, images any screenshot what you have of your problem so okay so guys thank you and have a nice day and subscribe our youtube channel for the further information maybe this all the fix is work for you